I would like to introduce Ms. Lena Yu. Ms. Yu is a representative of the, of the World Food Forum at this webinar, and she will uh, deliver a presentation on One Health and Youth Engagement. Let me first express my gratitude to the secretary, to the organizer, and the chair. It's my honor to be in this special webinar and share my experience and ideas on youth engagement in One Health. Ensuring a One Health approach is essential for progress to anticipate, prevent, detect, and control diseases that spread between animals and humans, tackling antimicrobial resistance, ensure for safety, prevent environment-related human and animal health threats, as well as combating many other challenges at human-animal-plant-environment interface. One Health is high on FEO's agenda, and it was identified as one of the priority program area in the four betters, better life, better production, better nutrition, and a better environment. FEO has been working together with WHO and OIE as a tripartite for decades to consolidate, develop, and harness the cooperation and effectiveness to address the stress at human-animal-plant-ecosystem interface particularly preventing further zoonotic pandemics and AMR by means of a strength One Health approach. This year, FEO is working on the development of a global plan of action for One Health with a joint vision and commitment to advancing collective action on One Health. Upon the guidance from the MOU, the tripartite also developed this One Health joint work plan, including these 15 technical areas and currently the tripartite is working on the update of this work plan. As one of the youngest officers in the tripartite secretary, my role is for the daily coordination, the monthly TC throughout the year, and organization preparation for the senior management meeting and the annual executive meeting, and also coordinate FEO's response to the tripartite. Another area I would like to share here is the FEO's response to COVID-19 at the human-animal interface. Support has been provided to members includes the guidelines, lab capacity building, impact assessment, risk analysis, training, distribution of diagnostic keys and others. Specifically, together with other young experts, we developed the guidelines to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on livestock production and animal health. It provides guides for relevant stakeholders take action for a sustainable production during the pandemic. As one of the COVID-19 response and recovery program, PMP, preventing the next zoonotic pandemics through extended One Health approach, it listed five key actions at every level to engage stakeholders to achieve the application of a One Health and a foresight approach and to enhance of national and international preparedness and emergence response. Antimicrobial resistance. I believe this is not a new phrase to us because actions have been taken at all levels for years. This picture shows the development of antimicrobials. Particularly, we can see sectors involved in food and agriculture, such as animals, aquaculture, plant, soil and water, etc. From this slide, we can see clearly in food and agriculture, AMR is a complex issue and needs cross-cutting collaboration. In this regard, FU issued a five years FU action plan on AMR in 2016 and established the AMR interdepartmental working group for the coordination and the collaboration among different sectors. Built on the lessons learned in the past five years, the new FU action plan was developed to guide FU's work on AMR in 2021 to 2025 strategically. The focus areas include awareness and engagement, surveillance and research, good practices, responsible use of antimicrobials, governance and resources. The action plan was developed by a group of young experts and also we seek advice from the senior colleague. Now the action plan was approved by FL Council in April and it is in the final process of publication. At a national level, countries are making progress on the development of National Action Plan One Health. 
According to the Tripartite Country Self Assessment Survey, there are 120 countries have this One Health National Action Plan EMR. Among the 136 response countries, from this picture we can see the different sectors engaged in food and agriculture sector on the National Action Plan. To help members on the operationalization of their National Action Plan, we developed the FEO Progress Management Pathway for EMR, which help assess the progress and identify the action for improvement. These photos were taken while I was in Ghana and Kenya, facilitating the PMP workshop, where needs the multi-sector White House coordination group of the country presence and discuss the key issues raised. Now, I would like to issue a call to my dear young friends. It's your turn to translate ideas into actions. The World, the World Food Forum is coming. Coinciding with the UN Food Systems Summit serves as a platform for harnessing the passion of youth and sparking a global movement and transform food system. A series of activities will take place from the 1st to the 6th of October. During this a week-long celebration, six tracks are organized, including the virtual events at global, regional, and national levels. We invite you to join us to empower youth for a better food future. Let me conclude by saying, when health matters, engaging youth is the key today to build tomorrow's when health. So act now.